Here we go with another episode of the Random 10 here on Eshelmania TV. And in this episode, we are going to take a look at 10 random cars from the 1950s. All right, we're going to start with number 10. And we're going to start with a really rare one right out of the gates. A 1957 Ford Ranchero. Just take a look at this thing. Just absolutely gorgeous. This one has a 292 cubic inch V8, three-speed manual transmission. That's right, the old three on a tree. And this is the first year that Ford had the Ranchero available. I mean, it is rare to see a Ranchero at all, let alone one from the very first year that they were actually available. And this one here is just an amazing restoration. You can just see the, the body lines are just incredible on this thing. It is, like I said, rare to see a Ranchero at all, let alone one from the very first year, and then one from the very first year in this amazing of condition. Number nine, we're going to go with the Ford 300E panel van. This one here, as you might have guessed, is pretty well modified. It has a Chevy 350 small block V8, turbo 350 transmission, a Dana 60 rear, decked out in plum crazy purple. And, well, if you were going to live in a van down by the river, there's a lot worse vans out there that you could be living in down by the river. This baby here is ready to go get some groceries and get them in a hurry. Number eight, a 1955 Mercury Montclair. This baby is powered by a 460 V8 because when you have a big old car, you need a big old engine to move that thing around. Raspberry red with a tan top. The interior, again, raspberry red with tan. And you can see that the factory gauges have been eliminated. Everything has been converted over to digital. This thing just has some killer body lines on it, some nice curves, and look at those tail fins. That is what the 50s were all about. Next up on the list here, number seven, one of the icons of the 50s, 1955 Chevy Bel Air. And this one here, this is a beauty. This one has a 475 horsepower, 383 stroker in it. Take a look at that paint job on there. The flames on the front end, and then you look inside, and the interior is just as gorgeous as the outside of this car. With hand engraved polished aluminum in there. Just amazing. And I, like I said, this is an icon of the 50s. So a 55 Chevy Bel Air, there's quite a few of them out there, but this one stands out in a crowd of 55 Bel Airs. That is for sure. Number six, we have a 1957 Ford. Thunderbird Roadster. This two-seat Ford Thunderbird coupe has a V8 jammed under the hood, and check out those white wall tires. They go great with that ivory interior and really set this thing off. This is another great restoration, but this 1957 Thunderbird, as soon as you look at it, you just know that's from the 50s. The body lines, the tail fins, all of it just scream 50s. There's just no doubt what generation this thing came from. Number five, we have a 1954 Hudson Hornet convertible. Hudson Hornets are rare to come by. A convertible is even more rare. This baby here is one of only 540 convertible Hudson Hornets built in 1954. They built this style Hudson Hornet from 1951 to 1954, and these here would fool a lot of people. They had that step-down design where the floor pan was a little bit lower, and the body of the car, the chassis, had a low center of gravity. So these were racing machines. That's why in that movie, Cars, from Pixar, old Doc Hudson, the Hudson Hornet, he can hit them corners out there showing Lightning McQueen how it's done out in the desert. Number four, we have a 1959 Ford Galaxy Skyliner. This big old convertible here looks like a big old boat, but man, is it ever a beautiful big old boat of a car. This was the family ride back here in the late 50s. This one is powered by a 352 V8 with a two-speed automatic transmission and lots and lots of chrome. Tail fins, chrome, all the good stuff from the 50s that you want in your car from the 50s. Number three, if we're going to talk about big cars from the 50s, if we're going to talk about chrome, we're going to talk about tail fins, well then... You can't have that conversation without the 1959 Cadillac Series 62 Coupe. Huge tail fins, lots of chrome, 325 horsepower engine, lots of leg room and space inside the thing. I mean, this was a 
big old car, but man, was it ever a beauty. Number two, 1955 Ford Fairlane Crown Victoria. This is powered by a V8 with an automatic transmission. It's orange and white on the inside and the outside. I really like the interior design of this. I like the seats, the way they did the upholstery with the orange and the white. The white wall tires really go good with the white on the outside, with the white interior. Lots of chrome. I mean, this is a gorgeous old 1955 Ford. that They really did a great job restoring. All right, here we are. Last one on our random 10 list of 1950s cars. The 1951 Mercury Coupe. I saved this one for last because, man, is this thing ever exemplary of everything from the 50s. This one has it all right here. This is it. This one has curb feelers. It has fender skirts. It's powered by a 255 flathead V8. It's got chrome. It's got white wall tires. It's got pinstripes. It has it all going on. When Alan Jackson sang, if I had money, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd go downtown buy a Mercury 2 because she's crazy about a Mercury. This is why she was crazy about a Mercury. Because it has everything you could want in a 50s car. So that's it for this episode of the Random 10 here on Eshelmania TV. That was 10 random cars from the 1950s. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future content. And thanks for watching.